Well folks, it's time to do another fishing report. And um, first up, I just want to remind everybody that there's a whole pile of old um, reports from last year. They're pretty cool to listen to and compare them to this year and see how things change. What I am doing this year is I am dating the dates that I post them so they don't get confused with uh, the reports from last year. Uh, so you kind of got to take a look at the post dates just to make sure that you're on the right one. But obviously, if you already subscribed and hit that whoop right over here that little bell icon when you subscribe uh, you'll know this is the new report so as for the fishing it's been another very tough week uh, we had I had personally had one good day I think Rick had one good day George had one good day the rest of the time we just put in just heroic efforts to get a few bites just not a lot of fish moving just odd fish trickling through the bottom end of the river I'm here on the DSR right now the bottom end just a tiny handful of fish will trickle through in the morning the place shuts down the uh, so that's kind of what's been going on in the Bond River the estuary there's a few fish in the estuary the light hits on it the fish in the upper part of the, they retreat right down to the deeper pools in the bottom end and they just go away a tiny handful make a break for it there's a small handful of fish that kind of night run. You know, that's where you get that activity that's coming from the middle of the D Douglaston run. Those are fish that are kind of found themselves at first light. Snaggle tooth, flats, right, uh, wall hole right there. The light hits the water. Those fish move forward because they got disturbed between fishing pressure and the light change. They get uncomfortable, they move forward, they find some comfortable water. So uh, that's what's kind of going on. Same thing in the bottom end. A couple fish might make a break for it, but most of those fish in that soft estuary water, they didn't back out. So that's been kind of what's been going on um, over the week. So, yeah, you know, we've been getting a lot of fish on, um, still a few fish swinging with woolly buggers. The black and silver raider buggers been working really well. Um, olive's been working really well. We're getting a few on leech patterns. Um, nothing special. Uh, obviously, we don't have enough fish going on to really say hey this is the hot pattern in presentations we've been mixing it up between um, kind of soft um, dead drifts to um, swings just really just mixing it up constantly try to find what we can get it to get a grab on uh, Rick spent some time in the um, upper um, river and found some fish there's a bunch of fish up there but boy are they crabby they just don't want to play they just kind of look at you and go yeah right and swim away but he's been able to eventually kind of trick a few of them into eating um, but it's you know just a lot of persistence he's fishing through a lot of fish to finally find one in the mood to take a grab so that's been our drill all week uh, water flows are still at the uh, 350 release at the dam we got maybe 50 60 CFS a runoff at Pineville so the grounds kind of getting dry the, uh, so that's kind of what water temperatures that's one of our problems it's in the bin some days it gets kind of warm and we're in the upper 60s maybe 70 72 as an afternoon temperature in the bottom of the river um, we'll get some cooling in the morning so it might be in the mid upper 60s in the morning up river it's just ticking along in like high 60s low 70s remember up river we're close to the reservoir so we get that heat sink so you don't get much of a temperature swing in the upper river uh, but those so I think it's just kind of warm up there and of course those fish are just sitting in those pools and getting stale and crabby and grumpy and they just all they want to do is just jump and throw us the fin. So that's been pretty much in a nutshell what this past week has been. Tough fishing, slow fishing, and nothing. I just can't, you know, really give any um, earth shattering um, set the world on fire reports because there hasn't been any. Yeah, you know, it's like I said, a good day we're getting a small handful of bites. So that's what has been. Now, right now you probably hear it on the on the audio. We got a wind. It's getting breezy. This is a weather front um, wind coming in. Right now, as I'm shooting this, looks like we're going to get a change of weather pattern. So the later part of this week, about the day that I post this, probably going forward, we're getting a big change. We're talking about some rain, some wind, some cold weather coming in. Um, a real shock to the system. We need a big shock to the system to get things, I think, things shaken up and changed. So it looks like we might get it. Uh, so the second half of this week as I'm posting it, 
could be a game changer. And in the next week, long-term forecast looks like we're going to get some weather. So in some cooler temperatures and it's time for these fish to get going. So I think between biological time clocks, some cooling water temperatures and some shaking up in the lake, things just might break loose. What's going on out in the lake? The rumor mill is saying that there's a jag of cohos um, sitting in about 60 feet out in front of the lake and there's a jag of chinooks sitting around 100 feet um, out in the lake. Some pretty good pods of fish. So there's a big gob of fish sitting out there just waiting to run. Also, today, as I'm shooting this, there has been a couple of cohos that come into the run. Not a lot, we're talking about a tiny handful of fish. Little flurry this morning, kind of on, on the program. But the fact that I've seen a couple of cohos does tell me that, yeah, probably the coho rumor is legit. So it looks like there's a pile of fish in the lake, not in the reservoir, in the estuary, but in the lake just waiting to move. What will make a move? When are they gonna move? I don't know. As I always say, we speculate and the salmon do what they do. So that's kind of what's going on there. Um, hopefully things will shake up um, as we go through the, through the um, upcoming week. You know, it's, like some, then that point I can report on maybe a nice fly pattern um, regiment that we're using. We can get them dialed in on flies presentation by that point. Just haven't had enough fish in action to do that. But as always, like I say, conditions can and do change quickly, and I'm hoping they do change quickly. So that's basically what's going on. Um, I'm hopeful that you know this weather pattern will shake things up, and I can report a better week next week. Um, as always, we got hats. I don't have any fly boxes to show up, but we got fly boxes. So if you see one of us, me, Rick, or George, flag us down. We have them on us. Um, please help us. I want new camera gear. Camera equipment's expensive. We got a toy list we'd like to get so we can bring you more exciting, more interesting looking videos. I apologize, I usually have a fishing video up right now. Um, we have a lot of video on file of us casting to the other side of the river. Uh, I intend to look at it here shortly and see if I can't make something up and talk about the tough fishing, but it's, you know, our stars are the fish and they're not, they just don't want to show up and perform. It was, at least when we have the cameras. So that'll change too. So once again, hopefully we'll have some videos for you of us catching fish. Remember that subscribe button, remember that bell icon. Hit that. Um, that'll uh, let you know we got stuff up finally. Some good video up finally, more fishing reports. Also, um, go ahead and share it. That helps us out. And I'm trying to grow the, the um, following on the YouTube channel. So all the help that you could give us through shares and hitting the subscribe button will be really helpful. So. Until next week, hopefully I'll have a better report, something a little bit more interesting to show off other than beautiful river shots, maybe some fish shots, and maybe we'll have some video of us catching some fish for a change, and I can tell you what we're doing catching some fish for a change. Other than that, it's just been a willy bugger game, and boy, we're working hard and being persistent and a little stubborn, and that's how we're getting our action, getting the few fish that we're getting. Good luck. Hopefully the fishing will improve and hope to see you on the river and good fishing to you folks. See you next time. This is Jay at JPEC Guides and Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you're interested in any of our outings or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.